I want to talk to you today about components in SketchUp and specifically how they can glue onto surfaces. Now, this can be a really, really helpful feature and it can be frustrating if you don't know what's going on. Uh, so I'll show you the difference. So here is a base cabinet and this is a component that I brought in from the 3D warehouse and this component is not glued to any surface. So what that means is I can move it up, I can move it left, right, forward and back and when I use my move tool I can also hover over these red pluses and this allows me to rotate it in any direction that I wish. So if I wanted to put this cabinet up against the wall we'd use the tips that you've seen previously in this blog and just grab it by the back corner and put it up against the wall just like that. Now if you find wall cabinets in the 3D warehouse some of them are set to glue to surfaces and I'll show you what that means. So here's a wall cabinet here and when I bring it in it's attached to my pointer but if I move it from wall to wall it will glue itself to that wall. So it's pretty handy uh, for putting a wall cabinet in and you don't have to uh, put it here and then rotate it and turn it if you wanted to put it on this adjacent wall and you can see also when we put it in the ground it faces up. So once you click again to set it down whenever you try to move this cabinet it will always stay glued to this wall. So for example, if I want to move left and right, pretty easy, up and down, no problem. If I wanted to pull it off the wall for some reason, it won't let me do it. No matter what I do, this cabinet is glued to this wall. And also, you'll notice here when I hover over it with the move tool, I can only rotate it this direction. I can't tip it forward or back. So if I wanted to pull this cabinet off of this wall and do something different with it, I simply right click or on a Mac secondary click and you pull up this menu here and there'll be a selection for unglue. And once I click that, you'll see when I hover over it, I can now rotate it any direction that I want, including this way. And if I use my move tool, I can pull it off of the wall. So pretty simple tip, if you don't know what's going on it can be pretty frustrating and if you do know what's going on you can find good wall cabinets and uh, make your life a lot easier when you're modeling a kitchen.